Last October, we entered into the blood-soaked halls of Merge Mansion, a mobile game with a sinister secret. Hidden inside the crumbling facade was a legacy of deceit, cover-ups, and murder. By digging through a series of ads for the game, we were able to expose Grandma Ursula's plot to subdue and gaslight her granddaughter in an attempt to rebuild the old family mansion. But it looks like we may have kicked the beehive with that last theory. Clearly, we struck a nerve with Grandma Ursula. After our theory went out, players in games started receiving this disturbing message. Quote, Random people have started spreading rumors that I am hiding something. I am not hiding anything. I am being framed. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like someone is running scared. She even started an Instagram campaign where she sent huge wads of cash to online influencers to literally tell their audiences that she did nothing wrong. I got a surprise package from Grandma Ursula. What is this? Oh, you didn't see that. Grandma isn't hiding anything. Grandmas don't lie, I would know. These are all moves that absolutely scream I'm innocent. I, however, cannot be bought, Grandma Ursula. No wad of mail money will silence me. I mean, maybe it could have, but you didn't even try. And I gotta say, I am a little offended. So don't expect me to go so easy on you today, Meemaw. Your new slate of ads doesn't fool me. I see right through your plan. And soon everyone is gonna know what's hiding in the basement of that mansion. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, where all our secrets are hiding just behind that subscribe button. Click it, see what you find. Man, everything is getting a live-action remake these days. Avatar The Last Airbender is getting a series on Netflix, the Powerpuff Girls remake is getting its second wind with some reshoots, even the Rescue Rangers are getting the live-action treatment on Disney+, Plus, or at least half of them. But I don't think anyone expected a random mobile game with a weird series of ads to go full-on live-action remake, complete with A-list Oscar nominated talent. What the? So many knives. So little time. Is that Kathy Bates? She is a legend in the acting world. I love her stuff. What even is this thing? Well, this thing, in case you don't remember, is Merge Mansion, a mobile game with some pretty suspicious ads. When one of your ads features a kindly old grandma getting arrested only to reveal the message, you're next, written on her hand as the cop car pulls away, yeah, you're gonna attract some attention. I originally covered Merge Mansion back in October of last year, and not gonna lie, thought it was a pretty solid theory, taking a messy assortment of ads and putting them together to make some sort of cohesive story. It felt like a one and done video, we're done hearing about Merge Mansion, but boy was I wrong. In that episode, I made a joke about how Merge Mansion saw the Lily's Garden ads and said, hold my beer. Well, Merge Mansion saw my video and said, hold my second, even bigger beer. Over the last few months, the Game Theorist subreddit and my Twitter feed, at MattPatGT by the way, have been absolutely flooded by you guys sending me the latest ads for this game. And wow, did these things get a full on glow up. Gone are the characters ripped straight out of the B movie, and in are live action shows shorts filmed in a real mansion with real secret passageways. So let's figure out what these new videos have added to the story. Was my theory right? Or is there something even more dark and twisted going on? Spoiler alert, it's that one. In case you didn't watch the last episode, let me give you a quick recap to see where we left off these kooky characters based on the theory. Basically, our hero Maddie gets left at the altar by her fiance Arthur. He runs home to make an escape, but Grandma Ursula follows him, burns the house down with him still inside, and then consoles her heartbroken granddaughter. Grandma gives Maddie the old run down family mansion, using her to get it fixed before it's demolished by the city inspector. In the end, Grandma Ursula is caught for her crimes and is carted off to jail, but not for too long. The last we see of her, Ursula tricks Maddie into bringing her a pie that has a file hidden inside to help her break out of the prison bars. And that's it, or at least that was it. Since the release of that initial theory, Merge Mansion has gotten somewhere around 14 new ads, as well as a bunch of social posts all adding to the lore. And perhaps most notably, it now has its own separate entire YouTube channel. Ursula be going for dat influencer life. Right off the bat, some of the new videos don't do a whole lot. Halloween is just event driven and renovation is just an excuse for Maddie to pull a Miley Cyrus and come in like a wrecking ball. No, where things start getting juicy is House on Fire. In it, we see Maddie facing down, you guessed it, a house on fire. It's actually something that we've seen before in other ads, except, hold on, it's, it's not the same house. Although the first floor appears similar, the second floor is an entirely different design. And Maddie isn't wearing a wedding dress this time. What we're actually witnessing here is the start of the Merge Mansion timeline. This appears to be Grandma's house that's burning down. Notice all the old pictures of her on the wall, as well as the iconic rake outside. <laughs> okay, so maybe iconic rake is overselling it a bit. How about normal rake that Grandma tends to use throughout the game and its ads? I feel like that's uh, much more accurate. Anyway, Grandma is inside, unusually calm as her house burns down around her, ready to unlock a secret safe that's hiding in the walls. What's in that safe? Well, I think that's where our next video comes
comes in. The next ad in our timeline is called Wedding Day, and it starts in the exact same way the first Merge Mansion ad started, Maddie in her wedding dress crying. But this time, we get an earlier that day tag, so you know it's about to fill in some blanks. Here we see Maddie's fiancé Arthur getting ready for the wedding, all dressed up in a suit ready to get married. This is actually different from what I had theorized about last time, where we predicted that he had gotten cold feet and ran away. So what's the reason that he left Maddie at the altar? Grandma. Not because he's secretly in love with her or something, Noah. She's involved with the city inspector. It's because he's scared of Grandma. Ursula bursts through the door holding some files. Files that clearly had something incriminating on them, considering we smash cut to Maddie alone at the altar. Files that, I suspect, Grandma pulled out of her wall safe before the house burned down. Last time we suspected that Grandma's big plot was to get Maddie to herself, and this now seems to confirm it. I don't know whether to celebrate that victory or cry over the fact that I've wasted so much brain space on a mobile games ad campaign. It also explains why one of the messages written on Grandma's hand in the cop car was, he's alive. She just scared Arthur away. He didn't actually die in the fire like Maddie probably suspected. This is also supported by the fact that of the three versions of that hand ad, you're next, I planned this, and he's alive, he's alive is the version that they ultimately decided to upload onto the YouTube channel. But Grandma never actually makes it to prison. We suspected last time that after being taken into custody, Grandma winds up in jail only to break herself out using a file that we see her bake into a pie. However, apparently for the truest of true lore, it's not enough to just subscribe to a channel of ads here on YouTube, you also have to head on over to Instagram. Oh, oh, it's too much. There's so much face tuning, I can't handle it. Over there, we find some noteworthy inclusions to the lore, like Maddie pulling a Lily's garden by riding on top of a washing machine while asking about how to make a traditional broom. Uh, what? Sorry, traditional broom? Like, you, you mean just a broom? Has broom technology really evolved that much? Is there such a thing as a modern broom? Anyway, there are also some hints alluding to more secrets to come, like headlines asking about Maddie's grandfather. But what I'm most interested in is a short five-second follow-up here on Instagram that was discovered by Menace to Society TBH over on the Game Theorist subreddit, where after we see the police cruiser drive off with Grandma in the back seat, the driver hands her the keys to her cuffs. What? I guess this links back to the whole I planned this message that she had had written on her hand, but seriously, this whole thing is just one massive conspiracy. Apparently, she's even got the police on the take. Or does she? Look at those eyes in the rearview mirror. They're blue. And that short brown haircut? It looks an awful lot like Roddy, the city inspector who comes to the house threatening to tear it down at the start of the game. The same inspector we see having a romantic relationship with Maddie. We've seen that Grandma and Roddy have a uh, close relationship themselves, but now it looks like he might be more involved with the conspiracy than we first thought. And that, just as we suspected, this all may be an effort to gaslight Maddie. Anyway, despite her obviously escaping from the police cruiser after this, she does wind up in jail. This is likely due to the ad Wanted Grandma Ursula, where we see her trolling the police on her motorcycle. Uh, pro tip there, Granny. If you're on the run, maybe don't go back to the scene of the crime where the police are. Yeah! saying. Which leads us to the main event, my friends. What we're all here to discuss today. You want me to talk about the live action ad starring Oscar winner Kathy Bates. What do these teach us about Grandma? But well, let me tell you, friends, if you thought Grandma was a bad egg based on those CG ads, you ain't seen nothing yet. The most popular ad, Grandma Getaway, doesn't really tell us a whole lot from the lore side. We see Grandma running through multiple secret passageways to get away from Maddie. But again, if you're trying to get away from someone, maybe you don't use a secret passageway while they're still in the same room as you. She can literally see you given that statue of purple nurple there, Granny. At the very start of the video, we see Grandma burning a document, but unfortunately, we can't make out any words. Clearly, she's hiding something, but what? In the ad giving Grandma a hand, Ursula asks Maddie to go get a tool from the shed, only for Maddie to find that it's full of knives. So many knives. So little time. After which we see Grandma raking leaves over a pile of even more knives. <laughs> Chef's kiss, brilliant ad. But it's worth mentioning that this is now twice Grandma hasn't really hidden her behavior from Maddie. First with the secret passages, and now with a shed of knives. It's awfully suspicious. Could it be intentional? Keep it in mind. Anyway, all those knives seem to imply that Grandma's a killer, but like, why? Why so many knives, Ursula? Like, are you using one per victim? You, you, you do realize that you can reuse knives, right? Unless, of course, she's using 
getting one per victim and keeping them as souvenirs. Serial killers have been known to keep trophies of their kills. Pictures, body parts, shoes. So maybe Grandma Ursula here likes to associate each knife with each victim. Or there's always the possibility that she's just really proud of her knife collection, made up of the exact same knife. But with so many knives then, where are the bodies? Well, over on Instagram, someone decided to ask her exactly that. In a sort of AMA style post, Grandma got to giving answers in the comments. To the question of where are the bodies, she gave the response of what bodies? There are only flowers in Grandma's garden. Uh, but excuse me, no one mentioned a garden there, Granny. That's the sort of sus answer that's gonna get you thrown out of the airlock. So something might be a little bit off in Grandma's backyard. Going back to the live action ads in You're Not My Grandma, a fun little ad where every time Maddie tries to speak with Grandma, she's instead met with a knitted decoy. Grandma! We see Grandma digging some suspicious looking holes in said garden. Except it's kind of a small hole. It'd be pretty hard to fit a body in there. But parts of a body? <laughs> yeah, now we're on to something. In the final live action ad pie is served, Maddie appears to some guests with a pie made by Grandma Ursula. Everyone is shocked and becomes even more shocked when the pie box gets open. Enter Grandma showing up in the background with a bloody apron. You can probably guess where this is going, but I'm suggesting to you that Grandma Ursula is putting her victims into pies. She went and pulled the full love it. Where was this during cannibalism weekend last year? Anyway, while this might seem like an outlandish leap, the lore really does back it up. Over on Instagram, there are multiple posts about grandma's unique pie flavors. In a what we know about grandma post, they explicitly ask the question, she loves to bake pies, are they good? And when asked, what are you hiding? She gives a pie recipe. But my favorite piece of evidence here has to be a response to the question of why she got arrested. In this post, she says, quote, one time a police officer knocked on my door because he smelled one of my delicious pies cooling on the windowsill. I gave him a slice, and he was on his way. Gave him a slice, huh, Granny? Y you mean like a slice of pie, right? Not, not like a slice across the neck with a knife? Hmm. This also relates back to a secret blue glow that we see in one of the CG ads. In the ad Books and Secrets, we learn that by pulling a book from the shelf, Grandma's able to access a secret tunnel with a strange cool blue glow at the end of it. Something cold seems to be back there. What if that room is some sort of walk-in free where she's keeping bodies on ice until she can make them into pies. And any leftovers, meanwhile, get buried out in the yard. So grandma's running a bloody bakery. Fine. Good for her, more power to her. But then what does any of this have to do with Maddie? Why would grandma intentionally scare away Maddie's fiance and potentially burn down multiple houses in order to bring someone closer to her little murder shop? It doesn't make any sense. Until you get to the one upload that I haven't talked about yet. A pie in the night. First, this one seems pretty unimportant. Maddie follows a trail of crumbs down to the kitchen, leading to a slice of pie, only to find text written on the wall in red pie filling, which honestly at this point is probably more than just raspberries, and it reads, care to share. It's weird, it's creepy, but it also doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, care to share what? A slice of pie? Wh what is being shared here? Well, I suspect that Grandma wants to share the family business. I think that Grandma is training up Maddie to carry on the family bakery. That's why she scared everyone in Maddie's life away. It's why she's forcing her to do nothing but manual labor cleaning up a mansion. That's why she's in cahoots with Roddy. Grandma is controlling every element of Maddie's life right now. She isn't just gaslighting Maddie to get a free mansion reno. It's all to serve a larger goal of luring Maddie deeper and deeper down her indoctrination well. To make Maddie into the next generation of pie killer. It's why Grandma's not going out of her way to hide the secret passages or sheds of knives. Care to share, Maddie? In other words, we're doing this together. Welcome to the family business. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the real story of Merge Mansion. These new ads allowed us to reveal the even darker, twisted truth behind Grandma's crimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, this episode has made me kind of hungry, so I'm just gonna, you know, drag this over here, and uh, drag this one over here, and, uh, hmm, boysenberry, my favorite. But, hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you enjoyed overanalyzing the ridiculous ad campaign from this silly little mobile game, then you'll absolutely love our episode on Lily's Garden, an episode where we overanalyze the ridiculous ad campaign from a silly little mobile game. Or, you know, if you want something a little lighter, you can always check out our episode on the lore of Power Wash Simulator, where you spend your time cathartically cleaning until the entire town is destroyed Pompeii style. Both videos are on screen right now, so check them out. And in the meantime, I'll see you next week.